What is good, YouTube? It's your Mario B coming at you guys with our week two team builder slash battle for the RODL, the Rocket Draft League. And if you guys are excited as I am to get this battle going, make sure to show your support by grassy gliding that like button down below. And if you guys are brand new, as always, guys, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. So couple opening announcements before we dive into our team builder portion as always guys there will be timestamps in the description down below along with the little slide bar um if you guys are watching like on mobile stuff like that uh to show you guys if you guys don't want to watch this team builder portion of the battle you guys can skip straight to the battle sometimes i do be lacking on editing the uh, timestamps but i'll make sure to always have them ready for you guys so that's nice um and yeah guys it should be really really exciting if you guys didn't catch our last match against just lucas make sure to check the description down below there will be a playlist for all our our rodl content so like our draft analysis all our weeks we only had our week one so far so make sure to go check that out because i'm about to spoil it in three two one we took the l man we took the l on a tough tough matchup for sure if a couple of plays might have gone a little bit differently maybe we would have had a chance to knock down differential or even possibly win the match um but me myself i don't really like playing theory mon so we'll take the 3-0 loss i believe it was 3-0 or 4-0 i can't remember uh but we'll take that week one l on the cheek and uh we'll keep it going we're going into this week and we're taking on the h-man 911 and the maryland litwicks guys so it should be a really really fun match I think the RODL was the only announcement I had, the playlist. Oh, also, guys, I got another draft league going on, too. If you guys are only watching RODL content, we do have the APA Academy, which is a low tier draft league style, um, which will also be linked in the description down below. Uh, so make sure to go check that out, too, guys. Uh, we just took a nice W last week. So uh, you guys should be seeing that this past Saturday. Cool. So let's go ahead and dive into the matchup, guys. Um, you know our team is right there right above my head as always guys big shout out to ultra player 12 for the nice team builder slides um and then also if you guys see my shirt fading into the green screen that's my bad i have green on but you know mexico's playing today uh both the olympic team and the international team so we got to support so let's go ahead and check out our opponent's team right here so my boy has the clefable the heatran the rillaboom the salamence the azelf the sandy gas the lantern the vespa queen and the scrafty guy so a couple things to know i really really love the synergy between both heatran clefable and rillaboom giving them that really really nice like grassy terrain to help that heatran out for sure I also really like his Dragon Fairy Steel Core in Clefable, Heatran, and Salamence. I think that's super, super powerful and super, super versatile. Something like um, Clefable can be ran so many different ways, along with Heatran, along with Salamence. So that's really, really, really nice. Uh, he doesn't have a fire type. Oh, he does actually. He does have a Water Fire Grass Core as well, which is really solid in Rillaboom, Heatran, and the Lantern, all being really, really nice, all being really, really thick. Um, yeah, so I, I really, really like his team composition overall. The first six on the layout is basically what I'm expecting him to bring. Clefable, Heatran, Rillaboom, Salamence, Azelf, and Sandy, uh, Palo, Palo Sand. Sorry, not Sandy Gas. Well, actually, the last two can be interchangeable. So Azelf and Palo Sand can be interchangeable with something like the Lantern, something like the Scrafty. Um, I could definitely see him wanting to bring those two. But I think Clefable, Heatran, Rillaboom, and Salamence are a for sure, for sure come. Um, I did boost the volume up a little bit, guys, because I realized that it's been a little bit low on my videos. So... Hopefully this sounds a little bit better, the game audio. If not, definitely make sure to let me know. I'll I'll definitely know either way. I'll be checking it out. But yeah, um, I'm definitely expecting like, it depends. Like for sure, for sure, I think Choice Band Rillaboom comes. Like Grassy Glide is so good. And plus it it, it counters my uh, electric terrain. So definitely expecting something like that. Just launching off Grassy Glides or even Adamant Life Orb so that he can change up his moves. Uh, Heatran, I'm expecting it to come. I'm expecting it to be especially defensive. Just because I do have a lot of specially offensive um, pieces to my team. Things like Tapu Coco, things like the Big Teeny, which Heatran can put a really, really nice stop to. It doesn't even have to be fully spadef. It could be like mixed defensive with like Choppleberry or even Shaka or even Pasho if he wants to go that route. But um, I could definitely, definitely see him wanting to do something like that. Um, the uh, Clefable, I'm expecting to be max HP, max defense, just for things like my Coma O, things like my Big Teeny as well. It could even be like Calm Mine uh that could be actually pretty scary now that i'm thinking about it i didn't prep too too much for that but he could definitely definitely bring something like that 
elements uh i think it has a fair matchup not fair matchup but i think it'll do work both special or um offensive it could be also mixed like uh flamethrower you know draco or maybe dragon claw and then something like hurricane or dual wing beat dragon dance you can even be dragon dance like with kind of like flamethrower just to get the speed up which is something i could see him wanting to do as well and then azelf i'm really really scared of like a, a nasty plot set i definitely definitely don't want that to come and then uh palo sand which could be kind of like spit death or even just defensive i think defensive looks really really nice here for stopping things like my scissor my coma o and he can bring like defensive and then spadef like heatran or even if he wants to bring like offensive heatran i could definitely see him wanting to do something like that like scarfed heatran could be okay as well so definitely definitely a lot of things we have to uh be aware of and things that we have to be smart with as always guys big shout out to the front office homies for helping out and prep city as well prep city has been helping a lot with all my uh my prep for uh the past couple of matches that we've been playing so we definitely have some heat we definitely have some heat this game so very very excited to show you guys uh probably gonna be around the last slide so let's go ahead and check out the first set we got we got big brother aka swampert making his debut he actually didn't come through last week because of um his matchup just being kind of bad you know and uh yeah as me that's me always changing up the music right um always changing up the music guys i had like a good little like playlist going and now it just wants to act up so Swamper, big brother with the damp ability damp is really important because this might be my lead if i see azelf it might be my lead because um you know azelf is always doing those stupid things where it wants to like knock off or like explode in your face and damp luckily will prevent that uh will prevent that uh explosion from going off and then uh i might change earthquake i didn't check some of these slides i might make changes to guys because i made this in a hurry so basically let me let me explain to you guys what happened so basically me and uh the h man over here we're supposed to play like two days ago right let's get high horsepower okay i'm switching high horsepower to earthquake but we're supposed to play it two days ago and then yesterday i had some family come over kind of unexpectedly so i asked him if we can go ahead and switch the day up he was super understanding about it he said yeah no worries bro so we're actually playing today but i made these team builder slides in a hurry two nights ago so um yeah so we're gonna change earthquake for the high horsepower for sure before the match that's good to catch uh, but basically this set is tailored made to handle any type of offensive salamence set so if he wants to bring special choice picks um salamence we're covered if he wants to bring dragon dance we're covered uh we have enough attack on there to have like a 56.3 chance or even like an i can't remember 56.3 or 81.1 or 81.3 but um we have a good chance to knock out the salamence in our favor with the ice punch um and yeah that's gonna be really really nice flip turn for momentum and then uh the uh, uh we didn't really need scald this match if you guys look at this team we don't really need scald too much uh the uh flip turn will actually be a lot better especially on the un incoming rillaboom if he wants to bring it ice punch is really nice too for the rillaboom there so uh you know big brother here definitely definitely gonna put in some work we're so used to having junior the marsh tom so big brother right here better better put in some work and i can't wait to to finally use them i've been so excited to use them and we're gonna get to use them this match so let's go ahead and go into the uh, next mon which is going to be phantom also making his debut here danny phantom with, with technician ability you turned roost bullet punch superpower guys um we went for the adamant nature here which i'm not sure if i'm going to regret but i kind of wanted it to be fairly offensive as well i believe the speed creep on there is enough speed to outspeed cliff like is it non-speed invested heatran i think it's non-speed invested heatran if i'm not mistaken which i thought was really really valuable since we do not actually have the superpower anymore i forgot we took off superpower off this set we'll put defog Yeah, I might want to rethink that speed here. I might, I might check it out before the game, guys. But basically, this, this set has the Aquaberry as well to take hits from the Clefable. We want to switch this in on Clefable every single time, uh, which is really, really important. And then, you know, just basically the rest into, like, attack to get the most out of our bullet punches, out of our U-turns. U-turns really, really good against his squad. Like, his main switch in this is probably the Salamence. Um, but if we get we come on on something like the azelf it has a flamethrower we go ahead and you turn off on it if clefable's in there we get a you turn off you get about you know 30 40 percent off with the bullet punch uh which is really really nice actually and then um yeah just having the aquaberry there can catch a lot of mons off guard and get off a powerful hit on them so it's really really nice for sure and then u-turn's always good just for pivoting you know um but yeah after this we're gonna go ahead and have sphinx which is Put in a lot of work last week. You know, Ada Ficious ran, was able to get that toxic off on the Draco Vish, which is really, really important. Um, Wish Protect, Foul Play, Yawn, which I think is really, really nice. We're bringing a very, very Spadef set because we want to take hits from the Azelf. We don't, 
like I said, I'm super, super scared of a uh, nasty plotting uh, Azelf, which could really, really put in a lot of work against my team. So I definitely, definitely want to be wary of that. So I needed to bring my dark type here. Um, wish protect is really, really nice to get into um, wishes to get into our scissors, wishes to get into our swampert, um, a couple other mons that we got later on in the team build as well. And then, um, yeah, the spit death is just there to always ensure that we will live a plus two dazzling gleam after rocks, um, switching in. And then we will always, 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 always knock out with the foul play in return, uh, to Azelf, even if it has a timid nature, no attack. So that's really, really nice. And that's basically what I'm around here to do wreak havoc. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, I feel like we're missing a slide here. Next, we got Tapu Loco, aka Tapu Coco, uh, rocking the Electric Surge, Calm Mind, Roost, Thunderbolt, uh, D-Gleam with enough speed on there to outspeed the Salamence. The rest into Special Attack, the rest into Bulk to get the most out of the leftovers, and then a little bit into Spadef as well, because we can always set up on the Clefable. This thing can always set up on the Clefable. We can set up on Heatran. Uh, Flash Cannon is not doing too much to us at plus one. Um, you know, we can always set up on things. You know, the only thing we really, really have to be wary of is going to be that uh, once Heatran and Rillaboom are gone, we pretty much win with this set. Like, nothing else can handle it. So once we get down Rillaboom, once we get down Heatran, we can definitely clean up with the Calm Mind uh, Tapu Loco here, which is going to be really, really exciting, really, really fun. And uh, yeah, let me double check to see what slide I'm missing here because we are missing... Mm, got you. Why didn't that slide upload though? Hmm, we're missing a my coma o slide, which I'm not sh really sure why it didn't uh, upload here, guys. Sorry, I'm, re I'm really, really sorry, guys. I'm super unorganized today because this uh, I, I wasn't even planning on doing this team builder, but it was I was fortunate enough to be able to. Um, well, I'll definitely check it out if I don't have my um, if I don't have the uh, the coma o slide, we won't do it. But I'll just go over this last set, which is going to be heat as hell. I'm going to give a big, big shout out to Shay Quaza because he's actually the one who gave me the idea for this set. And I figured, hey, you know what? This actually looks pretty clean. We should go ahead and run it. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Big Teeny, a.k.a. JV, rocking the weakness policy, victory star ability, flame charge, blue flare, scorching sands, stored power, max special attack, 136 speed, enough speed on there to outspeed a jolly rillaboom uh i figure salamence might not be worth it since he might want to bring a bulkier variant plus we can always get our weakness policy off on that salamence uh 120 into our attack which just basically allows us to live anything like we can live a super effective hit from pretty much anything from full uh heat chan we can live a, an earth power from a um from a choice scarf earth power uh Heatran for sure. Uh, just we just can't live it after rocks, which is the only unfortunate thing. Rillaboom, we can live it stomping tantrum. Uh, you know, Salamence, we can't live the earthquake, but if he does have grassy terrain up, we definitely can live that earthquake. Uh, Azelf will live a shadow ball as long as he's not at plus two. Palosan is really, really nice to get our weakness policy up on because he's either going to want to go ahead and shadow ball us or scorching sand us or earthquake, vice versa. I'm pretty sure it's going to be special. Lantern, we can eat a scald for days. It only does about half get the flame charge up get our weakness policy up stored power will kill if it's only max hp and then scrafty we will live the knockoff if it's just max hp no boosting item we'll go ahead and get the flame charge up and then blue flare will molly whop it guys so this is really 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 the win con here um actually it's not the win con type of coke was the win con but what's really nice about this set is that if this set can get set up early it will pretty much break everything that our type of coco wants broken down for in the late game so hopefully this set and our type of coco will be putting a lot of work i'm really sorry about the 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 coma o set guys not being here but it's basically just a defensive kind of uh mixed defensive set kind of max hp with a lot of speed uh to check both the rillaboom and to check the heat trend pretty much so that's going to be the whole team guys i'm going to go ahead and get connected with the h man over here and i'll be right back at you guys with our battle Alrighty, guys we are back and if you guys just skip to this part of the video we are taking on the h man 911 i believe if i'm not mistaken and his maryland litwicks guys um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start searching for him uh have fun good luck to the h man for sure if you guys hear any background noises guys my bad my house is super active sorry for the messy hair as well 
um but yeah my house is super active right now so it might be a little bit of uh my daughter running around and stuff i said have fun good luck he said you too you guys see the six that we have on the layout right here i'm gonna go ahead and get it ready just in case we have to make some changes but i don't think we will i think these are gonna be the six that he's gonna go ahead and opt to bring uh let's go ahead and get connected and see okay he does bring some different stuff so no clefable what no clefable instead he brings the lantern which is crazy to me he brings the lantern instead okay lantern heat trend rillaboom salamence okay so that's the only thing i guess no clefable um which is honestly like best case scenario for us because our scissor like could handle it but couldn't handle it too too much so that should make the change there Right, that's everyone. Azelf, Lantern, Rillaboom, E Tren. Yes, okay, that's everyone. So just the Clefable, no Clefable. Um, I'm kind of down to just lead either Big Brother. I think Big Brother's safe. If he leads Rillaboom, we have a safe switch into our um We have a safe switch into our guy here. Once the Heatran and the Rillaboom are gone, we can clean the house with the Tapu Coco. Um our our jv here is not looking bad either it's not looking bad at all either our victini here um, i'm gonna take the full seconds just to kind of you know think about what i want to do swamper lead is really nice against everything that's not named that's not named uh rillaboom or palo sound maybe palo sound might not be that good either um but have fun good luck to my opponent for sure let's go ahead and get it going guys um been having a kind of crazy day so hopefully we can um make it better with this dub here for sure um let's see Swamper versus the palo sound which i think he might lead palo sound kind of looking like a problem for sure okay um oh damn swamper looking like he's wearing like one of those uh one of those uh Things. I'm gonna get my rocks here. I think he's gonna get up his rocks as well, which would be okay. Um, I think get fair exchange here, getting up our rocks. I think rocks kind of hurt him a little bit more than they hurt me. I do have leftovers on a lot of things. Um, the only thing that's gonna be a pain for is Victini, but we can definitely defog with scissor later on before the late game so that we don't have to worry about these anymore. Uh, flip turns really nice. Scald could be something that he's uh kind of fearing here as well. Um, the scald would do a lot, right. If we weren't that much yeah if he's not if yeah we'll get up our rocks here as it goes into rillaboom like we were expecting for sure um we could i'm not opting just to go for the coma o play here um and he's grassy seed okay oh he's grassy seed acrobatics isn't he okay for sure for sure uh rillaboom we know he's a uh, grassy seed actually has no item which is no item acrobatics doing to uh my to my coma o here it's a for sure to hit ko which is a little bit unfortunate i don't want to pivot into my my sphinx here I don't think he has Umbreon. I really don't think he has the. Yeah, I'm going to. I don't think he has the. Um... I really don't think he has a superpower. And if he goes for Swords Dance here, we should be able to live it. I'm good for a, get a foul play in return. He is in a Swords Dance. So we should live pretty much. Oof, we're not going to kill, actually. But... Um, I kind of want to protect here. To go ahead and waste another turn of, of terrain. How many more turns does he have? Three? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and protect here. Just a waste of turn of terrain. Because I really want to revenge this thing. And it will be hard to revenge him if we don't have... If he has the terrain up. Because he will have that grassy glide priority. Um, so it, sh it says we should live this grassy glide fairly um about 70 to 83 percent 
and we should do a lot here in return we could even yawn and then protect to force this thing out which i kind of actually like yawn doesn't miss right we could yawn and then that puts him he's gonna grassy glide and we can protect switch out no i think i'd rather get the damage off i think i'd rather get the damage off instead of forcing this thing out because it's gonna be a problem later uh this should not kill barring any type of crit as he doesn't get the crit thankfully and this should do about 70 to 83 percent um yeah swords dance is a bit of a problem how many more turns of terrain does my boy have here that leftovers and that grassy terrain is really nice um he has one more turn of grassy terrain which we can stall out here so let's go ahead and do that um This is honestly super good for us too because um it does have the acrobatics okay good to know and we will go ahead and get uh that thing up okay so no terrain now can we live this hit we might be able to live this hit now uh 173 45 oh we don't live the hit is this a fair trade my sphinx he still has the Azelf there, so I definitely don't want to sack off the Sphinx yet. Um, I could go Birdo here. I could also go Phantom. Like, what's what's my what's my guy here taking? We're not taking a lot from the Grassy Glide, which he shouldn't go for here because he doesn't even have the thing. I guess I foul play here again. I guess I'll sack this thing off. I know the Aza was a problem, but as long as we can... Oh, we might... Should be able to live this. Oh, we need a crit. Dang, we didn't live that. That's crazy. Okay, well, he doesn't have priority anymore. So now I can just go into JV here. And get off a of flame charge. Um, as we, we will outspeed this thing. He doesn't have priority anymore. Um... Blue Flare is going to do a lot, but I, I'm scared of him going. Does he go into Rillaboom here? I kind of want to pull a double predicting the Heatran. Because does he stay in on this? I feel like he wouldn't. Like, why would you stay in on this, right? Unless you really don't care about the whole grassy seat thing. I'll pull a double. Uh, predicting the Heatran. So he, he should not stay in here. Um, if he does, good play, I guess. But I, I, I don't think he would stay in here. Okay, he does. He he does go into the heat here. Perfect, perfect. We do catch him on that play correctly. Um. Okay, nice. And he will take that damage there. He is leftovers, which is good to know. We'll go ahead and uh, mark that down. Heatran leftovers. Um, and now I get a. Do I get a free Drain Punch here? Because he probably brings in the Palosan, right? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Como O versus Palosan, which is probably defensive. Uh, we'll take about half from the Clangor skills. Um, let's Drain Punch here, just in case he stays in. He does stay in. Okay, we'll get some nice uh, damage off on this thing. Nice. Okay. And this thing should completely, we should wall. If it's flame body, he will get that off for sure. Okay. It's toxic. So that's good to know. Toxic leftovers. Um, and the thing is we do need some damage off on this thing. So, um, he should switch into the lantern here or the Salamence or the Azelf. So what's a good mid ground play for all those. I feel like scissor would be okay. Um, he, I, I don't want him to have protect is the thing. Let's go for clanging scales here. See if he's protect or he switches out. He does switch out. Perfect. He should go into lantern or the Azub or the Palosan. Yep. Palosan comes in here. If this is fully defensive, it will be two hit KO'd after rocks actually, which is good to know. Yes. Takes a little bit rocks chip 42. Let's see. He should do 42 to 50. Ooh, it's looking like a roll. Well, we are bulletproof. For this specific reason here um 
But instead of letting Komo take this chip, which I don't want it to, I think I'm going to go into my Swampert and I'm going to go ahead and flip turn. This thing does get Giga Drain though. Would he go for Giga Drain on my Komo though? I doubt it. Like, why would you? You should just opt to get up his rocks. Yeah, because we're not going to kill on the next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Big Brother here and then I'm going to flip turn out. Because I don't, I, he's probably going to get up his rocks here, which is fair. Yeah, he's gonna get up his rocks. Um, that's fine. We can just go ahead and, and uh pretty much flip turn here on the incoming Rillaboom, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. I could have ice punch too, make a neutral play, but I don't really don't think I need to. It should be doing about half. If he does stay in here, that's fine. We'll just go right back into the Como, I believe. Perfect, perfect. He has no immunity, so yeah, Rillaboom is gonna go ahead and uh Take this flip turn. We will take a little bit of rocks though. I'll we'll get up the grassy terrain. Um, and I think I might just actually go into my com uh my Tapu Coco here. Tapu Coco on the Rillaboom at about 50%. We know he's like Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I should kill. Doesn't really have the best switches. So let's do it. I think Tapu Coco is fine here to go for. Uh, we'll get rid of the grassy terrain, so he will not get uh, any type of recovery this turn. Um, and then we can just launch off a pretty free um, dazzling gleam here. Could also go for calm mind. Like how much is Heat Tran taking from this? Is the question because he has to. Heat Tran has to take rocks too. Heat Tran will. I think. Uh, I don't think Heat Tran actually. Heat Tran shouldn't die to a. He is going to withdraw. That's fine. Uh, too bad I don't have U-turn on here. Okay, he's going to go into the Lantern. That's fine. We'll go ahead and Dazzling Gleam this. It will take rocks. Let's see what kind of set this is. Take the 12%. Uh, take the 12%. And it's at about 55. Okay, so about 55. And it's leftovers as well. It is leftovers as well. Okay, good to know. Um, I could set up on this thing. I could, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. Not when I have a whole ass big brother there. We can just launch off a high horsepower. So I think that's fine. Azelf is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to get my Tapu Coco set up before I actually go ahead and, and uh, deal with that. So that's something we have to keep in mind too. Here comes big brother. We'll take some stealth rock damage. He should just toxic. Okay, that's fine. So this thing is either Volt Absorb or... Um, it is either Volt Absorb or Water Absorb. And we're going to find out right now. I'm going to go ahead and flip turn on this thing. I need to find out if this thing is... Um, I need to find out, right? If this is... I'm pretty sure this thing is Volt Absorb. Why else would you bring it in on... Apple Cocoa, right? And how are we doing on time? We still have a, we still have a little bit of time. I'll flip turn here. Like I said, uh, I think the, the information is valuable to find out whether this thing is... Uh, the uh yes okay cool that's fine the rocks and chip i i, I wanted to go for ice punch there but i didn't Coco taking the stealth rock damage isn't the worst either because we can just get the, the the recovery with roost or leftovers really wish i would ice punch there though but really boom switchings as you guys can see are becoming very very limited yes okay awesome and i don't want to bring in victini because i don't want to take any chip that we don't need to take um, so I just go right back into Tapu Coco here, I think. Yes. And I just kick D Gleam again. We're chipping down that lantern, which is really nice. And eventually, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, we'll get, we'll get, we almost get back up to full with the leftovers. So that's fine. And we have them in this little kind of pattern here. Red Boom can't really take much more hits. At this point, I don't even see him, the reason why he would save it. Um, really don't see the reason he'll save it. And Lantern is taking... Uh, unrecoverable damage so that's valuable for us for sure and the heat train as well heat train is a uh, is a little bit of a problem victini can win victini can win once we get the um it's set up for sure there it is so coco will kill coco kills rilla so that's one thing we needed down for uh type of coco to win so we'll definitely take that uh rilla kills umbreon 
what else have we seen from him? We've seen that his lantern is leftovers toxic. Leftovers toxic. Have we seen anything else? Halosan is stealth rocks. Stealth rocks. He doesn't really have the best switches to this. Yeah, the Palosan comes in here. We'll take some rocks. Um, should I call mine in this thing's face? Uh, let me see. Uh, Palosan. Palosan. If we get to plus one, plus one. We could actually maybe saw this thing out. I don't think it's worth it yet. Uh, not when we have a safe switch into Big Brother right there and the uh, the Como. Let's go right back into Big Brother. We can get a, a U turn off on this thing. Um, he does have the Giga Drain, which is something we do have to keep in mind. Uh, this thing does get some type of grass coverage. I don't know if it's uh, Giga Drain or Grassy Glide. I mean, a Grassy Glide. Giga Drain. He's going to shore up here. Good play. Good play. Good play. This is where Toxic definitely, definitely would have came in handy. Saving this thing is really nice for him for sure for our Tapu Coco. He got a lot of a lot of our stuff toxic already too. Um, what, what does he bring in here? Uh, he definitely he definitely wants to save this. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip turn and go into Scizor. We see short up and toxic. Short up. Yep, that's fine. He might get the water compaction here, which would also be fine. Yes, water compaction, which means he's at plus two defense now. Yep. But plus two, I'll go ahead and note that. I don't want to get off the... Let's go to Birdo here. I know we're taking a lot of damage with Stealth Rocks and the Toxic as well. But the thing is, we can just pretty much launch off that, that Clangris Soul Blaze for like no reason. For, for pretty much free here. Earth Power, that's fine. We are pretty spadef. We should take that fine. Yes, that's fine. And we launch off a Clangor's Soul here pretty freely, I think. And since Rillaboom isn't around too much, we don't need we don't we don't need Birdo too too much. Um I could just Clangor's Soul uh Soul here pretty freely, I think. Yes, perfect. Is he gonna shore up? He might shore up here, but Yes, he did shore up. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Okay, we can aim this exchange with him pretty low, I think. At least like around under 50, which would be perfect for us. Uh, we've seen that he has the earth power. Next time, I want to calc how much it does so that Tapu Coco can come in. Uh, Tapu Coco's looking pretty nice to, to clean up here in the late game. Um, Yeah, I'll just keep clicking this dragon move here. He's going to switch out. Nope, he stays in. That's fine. If he shores up here, that's fine with me. This is one of the things stopping Tapu Coco from winning too. Okay, he's going to try to stall us out, which is fine. I think we're going to be doing more damage than what he's um than what he's recovering. Yeah, we'll be we'll keep it on my 75%, which is really nice. I don't need the Coma O2 too much anymore. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't. I think we could just sack this thing off. I'm trying to think, is there any scenario where we would need him? But I really don't think so. Yeah, he, he is going to be gaining a little bit more. How much PP does Shore Up have? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it has 16 max. Um, we'll keep him at 75. We'll keep him at 75 ish. We can, he's always playing around with crits too. He loses nothing from just shoring up here. Yeah, maybe we give her come up, up for nothing. Uh, and this is a toxic from. Damn. What's the play here? I really want to go Coco and just start setting up, but I really don't think that's the play. 
go apple cocoa because this thing this thing has toxic right Can we see toxic from this thing plus one plus one you you okay um let's get rid of these rocks Let's get rid of these rocks. Let's see if we can go ahead and um let's go ahead and get rid of these rocks. And let's see if we can clean up with Coco. I think we might be able to. We have to defog here. The earth powers here. That's fine. We're pretty sp deaf on this set. 300 to 191. Okay, this might be one of the last calcs I do. 300 to 191. So 88 to 56. That's 222% with the earth power. Doesn't make sense. Uh, he is at minus uh, a roost here. I'm going to see what he wants to do here. Perfect. Okay, he's going to go into Salamence most likely. Yes, that's fine. He is Intimidate, which is good to know. He's not Moxie. We can just go right into our Swamper here. Swamper has taken a little bit of chip, but um, I think we're still okay at the range to live. Shit, I think I prefer a slow U-turn here just to uh, get our Swampert in safely. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. He, he, uh, he doubled. That's fine. He goes into uh, the Palisan here. I think I'm just going to go into Coco and start setting up. Like I said, I wanted to get in Coco for free. Um, if we can break right now with Coco, we can probably sweep with our uh, guy in the back. Okay, let's see. Double Coco time, baby. We should be taking 51 to 68 if this thing is uh, no type of bulk. So we'll call mine here. We should take about 51 to 61% here. Let's see. He's going to earth power here. This is going to bring us down to 118. It's 39%. Uh, that means it did what? 61% he got a max roll there okay we're at 137 now okay we should be able to roost so we'll get back up to 95% yep earth power again which is going to bring us down to how much 127 We are at, what, 146? 146. 146. So there's no way he knocks us out here with another Calm Mind. Um, even with a max, max roll, it's only a crit. So let's just go ahead and Calm Mind again. I mean, we are playing with crits here, like ourselves, but um, yeah, there's no way he should knock us out here. We need like a max, max roll yet. So. And we are at plus two, plus two. It looks like he's in range almost. Uh, we're going to roost to get comfortable. We're going to roost to get comfortable. It's fine. He's an earth power again. This should be doing less and less every turn. Okay. I'm just going to keep roosting here. Uh, electricity off the field doesn't matter too much, I think. Let's go ahead and roost again. Is there anything he'd want to bring in on this? Okay, he's going to switch out, which is interesting. Uh, no electric terrain means heat track comes in. Yep, that's fine. 
Doesn't take any rocks. Okay, so this thing, Heatran. I see he's especially defensive. It looks like Thunderbolt's a roll. If this thing is max attack modest, we are at how much? 253? Um, even if he is max attack modest, he does not knock us out here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and T-Bolt twice and kill this thing. Perfect. Para, even better. If we get the para, that'd be perfect. He's in a toxic here. Okay, good, good play, good play. Okay, so we're going to have to win it right now, I think. Um, I do think that he goes for like something cheeky, like a, like a lantern play. So I do want a Dazzling Gleam here. Because he could still save this, right? Alessand is going to be the problem, to be honest. Um, once this thing's down too, though, uh, Vitini will clean. He's going to Lantern. Thank you. Okay, try to get a little cheeky there. Goes into Lantern. Fine. Let's see how much Lantern takes from this. Nice. Okay. This thing is leftovers, which is a little bit problematic too. Um, we should be able to three hit KO this though. And it shouldn't be doing anything to us in return. I do like saving Tapu Coco for the end game because we do need it for the Salamence. I'm getting kind of tunnel vision here. Um, I, uh, um, well, I'd rather save this while it's at like, a good amount of health since we do outspeed a lot of things here. Um, I feel like this is just so free, right? Big Brother is like super free. We can get up our rocks again. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll save Tapu Coco. I think it's fine. I don't want to get like tunnel vision on it. And then us not even like, um, he's going to go into Heatran, right? Perfect. Okay. This is kind of like what I want it to. Because now we get a free flip turn off. Our rocks. I kind of don't mind the rocks. Let's go for Stealth Rock. Even if he wants to hit us here, I think it's not the worst. Okay, he's going to sack this thing off. Like I said, once this thing's sacked off, we 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 do a lot of work with our Victini here. Got a Magma Storm here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Heatran to a Swamper. Perfect. From the range it's at, it will actually die to flip turn. Which is great for us. Uh, actually, let me double check that. 37 of 44, it says here. Uh, it's a roll, I think, actually. He's looking like at 35%. Toxic and Magma Storm. Yeah, it's going to be annoying. We can flip turn pretty safely here. Let's see. Flip turn. It's a roll to kill. 35. If he's like max HP, it kills, I think. Let's check my timer too, because I bet my timer's pretty low right now, like two minutes or three minutes. Man, scary hours. Scary hours right now. Okay, let's see if this kills. If it does, that'd be perfect. Please kill. Did it kill? Awesome. Hurt kills. Uh pert kills. Uh my guy over here. Eat trend. Um, I kind of don't mind going JV. Let me see. On the Palosan, how much are we taking with the Victini? What Palosan? I think about half. Let's do it. it probably brings in Palosan here. It says we will live the Palosan hit pretty comfortably. I'll take about half. Um, and we'll get a flame charge up against it. And then Heatran's gone. My bad, guys. I know I haven't been keeping up with the with the things, but. Uh, and then something killed Toxic. Como dies to Toxic. Was it from? He does go into the Salamence, actually. A 
Okay, we're gonna go into our uh, guy here. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to play with this. I really wish he would have gone to Palasan there. I thought this would have forced him into the Palasan. But I guess it didn't. Um, scissor here. Okay, cool. He do wing beats. That's fine. We'll get off a slow U-turn again. And 221. What are we at time-wise? Yeah, I don't want to... I can't count. 221. Scizor. That's fine. We are Aka. And it's mixed. Yep, we should live that fine. Got a U-turn out. I think we live a hit with Swampert. Um, and is that in range? Coco. It's about a roll. Um, just going to Big Brother here. I think we can launch off an Ice Punch pretty free. We should be able to live anything this thing wants to go for. I think so, at least. And we could Ice Punch here pretty freely. The Azelf doesn't want to take it. Um... Oh, Victini looks so clean here to win in the end game. We just have to. We can't mess up with time. I only have two minutes left. Maybe he stays in. Ice Punch should kill from this range, though, guaranteed. Was this heavy duty boots? I think this is heavy duty boots because I don't think it took rocks damage, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't remember. I don't remember seeing it take rocks. He's dual wing beat. Dual wing beat. Okay, it's, it's like. Oh, is it a roll? It's not a roll. Let's see. Let's punch here. See if this kills. Should. Oh, that's a bulky boy. That's a bulky boy. But at least he is in Tapu Koko range now. For sure, for sure. Wow. That's like one of the few times. Um, Do I want to sack this thing off or the scissor right now? I guess Swampert's fine to sack. Yeah, we don't really need to swamp it too much. We'll flip turn here just on the off chance that he saves this or does something crazy, you know? But yeah, that's... Uh, I think we don't need to save this anymore. It gives us a free switch into Coco here. Uh, and Coco... Coco actually puts a lot of pressure here. Alessand is a little bit annoying, but I think what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to sack off our Scizor to the Palisand to bring in Victini. We get a flame charge off, and then we'll go ahead and, um, you know, uh, bring it in after and kind of... Everything's fairly chipped down enough to where if we hit all the blue flares, we should win this game. He does actually vouch to switch here. Okay. And he goes into the lantern, which is good for us. Uh, we'll definitely take that. And I think it's Victini time, baby. I think it's Victini time. Oh, Ice Punch. I should have turned. Let's see. Do we live this? Do we live this next round of Toxic? We might actually live it. If we're above like 30... Oh, I think we might live it, actually. Oh, we do live it. Okay, okay. We can get a Stomping ten uh, High Horsepower off here, actually. Let's see if we can hit it. It's faster than us. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um. Okay, so Lantern. Kills. Uh, it kills, uh, Lantern kills, Lantern kills, who? Lantern kills, Lantern kills, who did they kill? Swamp. Our play is simple. We click flame charge here. It's simple. We click flame charge here. Hurt is gone. Sorry, Pert. Gotta go down. We click flame charge here. We'll be faster than mostly everything. Let's see if he wants, uh, he wants to scald here. We should live the scald fairly easy. Scald is fine. We ate that fairly fine. We'll get the weakness policy off. I don't think we need to. Okay, we have one minute left. I think we're pretty much cool now. Um, let's see. Does Lantern die to? 
it will die to the stored power here. Let's just click it. Okay, Big Teeny kills Lantern. Big Teeny kills Lantern here. Um, Azelf comes out here. Okay, is this Scarfed Azelf? Stones, uh, if it's Choice Scarfed. Ah, I hope we live. Um, it looks like... Blue flare um after rocks the stored power actually kill. Small chance. We gotta go for blue flare here. Please hit Victini. Come on, Victini. Woo! Okay, Victini picks up two bodies. Victini kills Azelf. Oh baby. Oh baby. Shout out to Shay Quaza. Shout out to Shayquaza. Plus one. Alasan is going to be defensive. It says store power will kill here. It says store power will kill if it's just defensive, which I believe it is. Alasan. Do we say goodbye to Palasan? Get out of here, Palasan. Get out of here, bro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> bro, shout out to Shayquaza, bro. Good lord. Good lord. Shout out to Shayquaza, man. We're going to be able to... This is heavy duty boots, right? Heavy duty boots. Stored power goes down. Good to know. Uh, To the Salamence. We have about a minute left. Let's go ahead and check the calc. Yep, it will kill no matter what, guys. We just got to make sure we click it correctly. Stored power comes off here. If not, for any type of reason, we do clean up with Coco in the back, guys. Good Lord. Shout out to Shea Quaza, man. Shout out to Shea Quaza. I can't say it enough, man. He's actually the one who suggested this set. He said, if you're a man, bring weakness policy flame charge Victini. And we had to do it. So, man, shout out to you, Shea Quaza. I hope you watch this video. Probably won't, though, but it's all good. Um, but, yeah, guys, we will take a 3-0 victory for our week two opponent, man. He played super, super phenomenally. Um, I can't lie. He had me in a pickle there for sure, for sure. But once he gave up the heat tran, uh, Vitini was pretty much set to go. Thankfully he stayed in with the lantern, went ahead and went out for the scald and, uh, gave us, gave us the Victini set that we needed to win. Everything was chipped down fairly well. Good thing Victini hit that blue flare, not like last week against that Dracovish. So we'll definitely take that guys. And man, I'm super hyped to start the season one and one. We definitely did not want to fall to zero and two guys, but you guys did enjoy make sure to show your support by grassy gliding that like button and if you guys are brand new watching my content for the first time please consider subscribing guys we actually been growing like crazy like we were at 200 like i think maybe at the end of the beginning of like february and we're like at 220 now um i know 20 subscribers only but guys it's still it's it's phenomenal guys i appreciate all the support i appreciate all the love all the good energy i really really do and yeah guys make sure to go uh, actually my opponent doesn't upload so you guys can check him out but if he does i'll make sure to link him down in the description below bikini's gonna come through for the win guys jv my boy flex, flexing on him over here but yeah guys uh appreciate you guys watching i'll catch you guys on the next one peace